Happy Thursday, everybody. Today we're going to talk about two separate things today. One is string crossings with four fingers, and the other is learning a new scale pattern, the minor scale. So with string crossing with four fingers, your best bet is to do eighth notes or sixteenth notes. And eighth notes, you know, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1. Triplets are a little tricky because, like I said, the whole resetting of which finger you're plucking with. You know, watch. 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a 1 and a 2 and a 4 and a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a... Okay, it's not that tricky as I thought you know, as it can be, but when you're doing, you know, in, look at it this way, when you're doing just, you're alternating between a beat, so one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a, when you're alternating between more than like a string, once you get to like the two, or if you have uh, five bass or lar larger, the three strings, it's all about hand positioning. You know, oh, you're going to be raking your hand in so many different ways that it's just this constant motion of coordination between your plucking hand fingers and going from string to string. So it's easier to do with just eighth notes and sixteenth notes, and I recommend it just because if you're doing string crossings with triplets, We've discussed that three fingers is the best because one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a one and a two and a three and a four and a you got the three that you need to use. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is the new scale pattern. And I'll show you with going up and down on one string and going across more than one string. So Minor is different than major in a couple of different ways. Now, when you look at an A major scale, so I'm starting on the 10th fret of my B string, which is the same as starting on the 5th fret of your E string. So, like we said, it's whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, starting from that 5th fret on the A string. Start whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Now, I've also discussed in last week's lesson about going up in thirds. So, you know, you should know by now that the major scale in A is A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Now, that there are a couple of different versions of the minor scale, but we're going to go with the natural minor scale. Now, with the natural minor scale, you take the C sharp, the F sharp, and the G sharp, and bring them down a fret. So, instead of start whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, it's start whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. I'll bring, bring it in closer just so you guys can see it better. So... Fifth fret, A, start, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. So instead of a C sharp, you have a C natural. Instead of an F sharp, you have an F natural. And instead of a G sharp, you have a G natural. So going up and down the neck, it's, you know, pretty easy. On one, For the one string, I'll show you on... The E string and on the A string. I'll start with the A string. So we got your starting opening note string A. Then you go a whole step, which is two frets to B. And you go up a half step to C. So start whole half and then whole up to the D. That's the first half of the equation. And then the second step is whole half whole whole. So whole up to the E half. One fret up to the F, whole up to the tenth fret G, and whole up to the octave A. And on one string, it's on the E, it's starting on five, 
and pretty much the same thing, except the shifting's a little, little different. With major scale, you know, I showed you, um, you, do, you play the first two, you play your start and your first whole note on, in one position, then you shift up twice to get the um, whole half, whole, whole, whole half. Now, you're shifting up to play the last two... St it's basically an inverse of the fingering system that I showed you in terms of shifting and fingerings per shift on one string. So, you got start, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. So, see, it's... Like with major, it's two groups of three followed by one group of two fingers. So... Start whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole, and then back down the string again. Now, if you're going across two strings, it's quite simple. Oh, you got whole, half, start whole, half, whole, whole, half, and then shift up. It's basically just taking the, the one string and then just rolling it across to finish it out. And then to do it, to do it across three strings, it's really just simply rolling across the string. Start whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole, and then every time you do a scale, you want to do it going back down. And then since I showed you how to do major scales in thirds, you want to be able to do minor scales in thirds. So, one, three, two, four, three, five, four, six, uh, five, seven, six octave. Now, tomorrow with the double lesson Friday, I'll go into how, you know, major and minor differentiate between one another.